go relax for the rest of the day and ride out the rest of the storm. It's storming pretty good right now. It's crazy to think it might get crazy. <laughs> it's so loud. Yeah, it's pretty intense right now. But we're nowhere, we're nowhere near. No, we're the still start. five, six hours probably before the yeah. brunt of the storm. You comfy? I got busted trying to get a couple. Yeah, you worked hard. Because I stormed when you came through. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Sorry, I woke you. Are they? Oh wow. Our brook is just It's almost touching, but another few hours of this and it will be touching the bridge. The noise is insane. The champ leads stand strong, baby! Let's go! Oh yeah, greenhouses. Talk to me about greenhouses. If I don't blow, it's windiest on this side. Greenhouse looks good. It's tied down real good. Oh, this is cold. <laughs> Philip English here, reporting live from inside Fiona. She is giving us some drizzly rain and a whole lot of freaking wind. We've been with those power now since I would say about 10 o'clock last night. So we're spending some time over the next couple of weeks preparing for the worst on our homestead. During the 2021 season, our very first winter here in Nova Scotia, we had 17 power outages and they lasted anywhere from like two hours to eight hours. Nothing too dramatic, but definitely was something that we weren't used to. And we were so thankful that we heated our house with wood and that we we're still able to stay warm and cook meals on our wood stove. But having no power really set us back in terms of content. Because that meant that we couldn't use our internet system to be able to upload our videos, do just basic things like charge our phones and have that security of having that contact in case of emergencies. During 22 season, we had Hurricane Fiona and we actually had 11 days with no power at all. And so this was a financial burden for us both winters to be able to have a lot of fuel to have for our generator, which meant that before a storm, it always cost us money to get prepared boarding up the windows, making sure we had easy make food for the wood stoves, getting animals and everything situated on the homestead to prepare for these large storms. We had that 11 day stretch, but we also had many other power outages that really were very inconvenient in terms of being able to post our content and charge our basic functions. So when Jackery reached out, I thought it would be the perfect partnership to be able to showcase the Jackery Pro 1000. This means that when the power goes out, we have that extra to be able to continue having our start link internet in, charge our phones and small devices to keep us more comfortable if we do have any of those extended outages. Whether you want to use your Jackery Pro 1000 for sustainability and emergency cases, you can also use your Jackery Pro for recreation. Whether we're on property or off, this makes things so easy. For example, we like to go fishing with our paddle boards in our brook here right on property, but we don't have an exterior outlet to be able to blow up our paddle boards. So all I have to do is plug in my pump for my paddle board right into the DC adapter on the front of the Jackery Pro 1000 and I am ready to go. No heavy pumping with the handheld pump anymore. This will do the trick and I can do this completely from solar with my charged Jackery. Oh, this is cool. 
One of the other things that is really good about the Jack Reaper 1000 is that if you don't have a chance to charge it solar outside using the two solar panels that you can have, you can also pre-charge your Jackery inside. So if you're in a rush or you know you're going to use it as soon as you get to your destination and you don't have time to let the sun do the work for you, you can pre-charge it inside with your basic home electricity and then be able to bring it where you're going to go and have your first charge. Once you use your charge, you can continue to charge it using your solar panels, which is what I'm doing here. I came out at about 80%, put the solar panels up, and in no time at all, I was at almost 100%, and I was able to start charging the paddleboard. Be fishing in no time. Just as in the waves, no need to be hate in the heart of <laughs> First fish of the season. What'd you catch? Brook trout? The sun is shining. The fish are jumping. Perfect day on the brook. Want to tell jokes? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? I really wish we had some lights so we could play a board game. That would be pretty fun. Yeah. But for now, you get mom jokes. <laughs> Yay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad we have a jackery? Yeah. So thanks to our jackery, we don't have to spend any more hours inside in pure darkness because we can plug in any small appliances and use our power. We had our jackery already pre-charged in hopes that if a storm came that we would be prepared. And this way, Dayton and I can play a little guess who in the dark. So now that we know how costly it was to run our gas generator for an 11 day time frame with no power, 
we're really happy that we will have this Jackery as an option to be able to use it and have it pre-charged if we have any future storms happening. We do have a hurricane season here in Nova Scotia, and so it will be so beneficial for us, not only for cost, but also for convenience to be able to plug in any small cooking basic appliances, lighting if we need to in the house, charge our phones, charge up cameras or anything we need to be able to make sure that we can still post our content. This is going to be a valuable resource for us to have for our family here on the homestead. We were actually really surprised that just over the past five or six days, while we've had really stormy weather here, that we didn't lose power. Of course, we were so prepared with our Jackery all solar charged up to be able to put any of our devices on, but didn't get a chance to use it anymore over the last couple of days. But it's so comforting to know that we have that if we have any of the power outages or in case of emergencies and or to use for any of our extracurriculars off property, like using our paddle boards or maybe a radio at the beach lots of different things we can use it for so we want to thank Jackery again for sponsoring this video we're going to be spending some time in our free time over the next couple weeks preparing for a hurricane season that will happen again here shortly in Nova Scotia making some shutter boards to cover a back pantry window that way if we need to bunker down in one spot like we did last year we won't have to use the plywood and things we're going to be doing some fortifying on some of our coops making sure that everything will be really comfortable and easily accessible if we need to make reservations for a storm really quickly. So we're gonna keep this charged up. The good thing with the Jackery Pro is that we can charge it up and even leave it somewhere completely charged for up to three months before we have to do any charging in for it. So if we get caught off guard with a storm, we will be ready. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on our next video.